Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest way of creating a hyperlink with inner design in Adobe InDesign. So without further ado, let us climb straight into it. So we've got some text here and this window that you see on the right hand side you are going to need. So to get this you're going to go up to window in the top of your menu and you're going to go down and you're going to look for interactive. Once you're in interactive you're going to click on the hyperlinks and you will get this dialogue over here. Now what we're going to do with our text is on the left hand side let's select our text tool. And let's just come in here and we are going to just copy this text over here. All right, so we're going to make a hyperlink to this website. Now, of course, the text can say anything. It's the hyperlink that we need to add in. So over here on this hyperlink dialog, let's click the plus button. You'll have a new window open up and in here you're going to go link to URL. OK, now, of course, if it's a page link, if it's a shared destination, a text anchor, um, a file or an email, you can choose the appropriate one. But here we are going to add the URL. Now, the URL is already in here, but if you need to change it, you can just go ahead and enter it in there. Once you're done here, you are going to just go ahead and say, OK, this has now been hyperlinked. Now, a very similar process with the email. Let's highlight the email. And again, we're going to hit the plus button. And in the link to, we're going to dial in email here. You can add your address. So whether that says the actual email or the text says something completely different, like contact me, you will link to email and add the actual email address, the destination. You'll also add a subject line. You can add this as to however you need to and click on OK. Now, to make sure that this is interactive as a PDF when you're exporting, you're going to go up to File and we're going to come down to Export. And once you're in Export, where it says Save as Type, let's go in here and Adobe PDF Interactive, of course. Now you can choose your destination and hit Save and it'll be an interactive PDF.